Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. This is going to be for your mid-monthly. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know can help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me or you would like to um, find out your uh, life purpose through astrology, all the information is in the description box below. All right, so my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in here. So first we're going to talk about love. Then we're going to talk about career and finance and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help you with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what's going to happen with my Aquarius's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Aquarius's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Aquarius's career and finance for now until the end of April. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so here we go here, Aquarius. This is going to be the first, what's gonna happen first, okay? Second, this is going to be the end of the month here, okay? All right, bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness, people are fighting over you, Aquarius. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, some of you guys got a new offer coming in here, potential passionate one here with the Ace of Wands energy. It seems like it's coming out of nowhere though. Uh, it may even come in a little bit confusing at first. Okay, so let's find out what this is about, Aquarius. Oh, wow. What I heard was somebody's looking at you with hungry eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So what's going to happen my Aquarius's romantic love life? Give me nine cards to my Aquarius's romantic love life. Give me nine cards to my Aquarius's career and finance for now until the end of April. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so this offer, this opportunity that's coming in, this person is is a little bit trapped in their thoughts about it. Like a little, oh, they're a little bit up in their head about this. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's see what this is about. All right, what's going to happen, to Aquarius's romantic love life? Now until the end of April, show my cards in you see, show my cards in you see. Okay. I told you this person's obsessed. They're a little bit obsessed with you. They're like, they can't get you off their mind. They're thinking about you. Whoa, you guys have two offers coming in. Okay, Ace of Cups energy. Okay. Wow, you guys have new love all over the place here. New love coming in for you guys. Lots of new love, lots of new love. You guys are getting a lot of attention here. All right, so this seems like you guys are still getting over a situation, all right, or this new love that's coming in maybe still getting over someone. Okay, let's see what this is about. Okay, so we've got the moon card energy. You feel like a sense of confusion, like you're not sure if you're seeing things clearly. No, there's two offers coming in, okay? There's two, two offers. <laughs> two offers. Uh, there's big changes, massive changes coming in for your romantic love life, actually. And um, yeah, there's definitely someone's very, um, okay, so I see, I see. Your issue is you guys may be more interested in the one that's more passionate, but you may want to rethink that because there's another one there around this that is in love with you. Okay, even though they're still healing from a situation, they have very deep love for you with the Ace of Cups energy. There's a lot of huge potential, whereas the wands, you know, the wands, the wands are exciting. They're exciting, but you know, we want, we want love. We want the cups or we want the pentacles. Okay. We want the cups or the pentacles. So just, uh, don't rush into anything on this. Okay. Uh, coming up here, uh, but definitely there was a strong temptation here. Okay. Uh, cause there's a lot, a lot of chemistry with this person and it seems like it's coming out of nowhere and it's like, Oh, this is exciting. This is interesting. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. Mm hmm. So there's definitely a relationship forming here with the two of cups coming up, okay? And uh, somebody who is dealing with a lot of regrets. I feel like that's the same person, the ace of cups energy. 
they have very strong feelings for you. Okay, so this also could be the fact that, you know, this offer of love that's coming in, it could be renewed love for some of you guys, or it's somebody who's getting over some kind of hurt or pain, or you may have known this person from before and they have some regrets about not pursuing this connection sooner. Okay, so Aquarius, you are about to get everything you want this the rest of this month, okay? You got the nine of cups coming out, all right? Look at that, all right? Wish fulfillment here, wish fulfillment. You're gonna get exactly what you want here, okay? It looks like you guys are gonna lean on somebody for some advice there. Because <laughs> um, it looks like there's a person, the person with the feeling seems like they're really gonna try to like um, bump things up, all right? They're gonna try to make some power moves here towards you at this point, okay? Um, and you are, <laughs> you are feeling like you're stuck in the middle of this situation, like, uh, okay, mm, okay, so I'm a little bit stuck, stuck here, there's multiple people, like, Aquarius, come on, come on, Aquarius, <laughs> all right, I see this new person here, child card energy, um, and having heart to heart conversations with you, okay, mm-hmm. All right, so <laughs> you got a, good, a lot of good stuff, but in the sense, though, you guys are going to have everything you want. You're going to fulfill your desires, but then are going to feel like because you have to make this decision, you're going to like, okay, who do I want? Who do I want here? And you're going to feel a little bit rushed by the one who has the strong feelings for you. Okay, all right, so <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, there's three offers now. Ace of Pentacles energy. Yo, this reading is gangbusters, man. Gangbusters, this is like jackpot. This is the jackpot reading. <laughs> you guys got the jackpot reading the rest of this month, okay? Straight up, Aquarius is the winner. They are the jackpot winner. Oh my God. What, the Ace of Pentacles? All right, there's some, uh, some huge offer from somebody that you've known from before. They have a lot of regrets. They're feeling bad about the situation. There's some kind of mourning going on. And they weren't being honest with you. Uh, it wasn't what you thought it was. Okay. So there's huge potential with this person from before. This one who has been mourning the connection. And they weren't being straightforward and honest with you. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay. You have such good news and love here with the Page of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There's some, there's definitely, someone definitely crying over you, feeling sad, feeling upset. And I see there's a want to have, uh, resolve some kind of family conflict or wanting family and long-term uh, commitment here. Oh my goodness. Let's keep going here, Aquarius. You guys this month, oh my goodness, okay, Six of Wands. You know what the Six of Wands is? It's basically saying you guys are getting a lot of attention. <laughs> what did I say? Look at this, look at this card. It is a celebration. Celebrate some good times coming in for you guys. You're getting a lot of attention, okay? Victory is coming in for you. I feel like uh, you're trying to be smart about your decision making though with the cat card energy coming out. Yep, when it comes to an offer, an opportunity. I don't feel like you're making a decision by the end of the month here though. Uh, you do have a lot here, a lot going on here. You have three offers coming in. Okay, so there is someone who's really obsessed with you and they have strong feelings and they weren't being honest about healing uh, from before. Uh, they're making some power moves to resolve some family conflict and there's also somebody who is very passionate about you lots of chemistry and passion and there's talking and speaking about this offer this opportunity and we see the ending card is offer opportunity okay bottom of the deck is yeah you see the next partner coming out so one of these people is the next partner wanting to apologize there's an abrupt decision and I see somebody is a friend here, or this just could be representing more than one person because the friend card or the Three of Cups card can see more than one person, could be three people. Single and available to pursue, trying to make the wise decision when it comes to relationship, waiting around, someone is missing you, there's a cautiousness, you see blessings are coming in. It's a lot of hopeful energy and see multiple people here again. So showing multiple people. Um, oh my goodness. My hands are tied. I feel bad about this situation. I, I have so much regret, Aquarius. You're getting a lot of attention there. We see some advice being gotten. 
We see there's a lot of sadness and, and massive changes here when it comes to new people. And I see the cat card now. In this context, I feel the cat card is saying to me that because cats uh, for Lenormand talk about intelligence and thinking with your head and being logical about your decision making, right? Being smart about this. Because if you go further in this, there's really, except for the moon card, stating that there are some hidden perils or rosy colored glasses or a sense of confusion, um, this is not showing any like kind of deceptive kind of behavior here. Okay, so there is this, <laughs> Do you see this, Aquarius? There's three offers here. There's three. Three. Offer of passion, love, and long-term commitment. All right, so the only sign that's showing up here, at least, is the uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. And now they're next to the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a, uh, I feel like this is the one you're like, ooh, yeah, this is a good one. Um, okay, so we have this, and I can see this another way as well, if I go this way with it, that this potential passionate one that was a little bit confusing may end up turn in, may turn into by the end of the month something more tangible there, Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay, so some of you either it's three or it's two, okay, offers here, because I see choice has to be made. And we see what do you want, Nine of Cups energy, feeling stuck in the middle we see there's so much so much potential here ace of pentacles energy and good news and love and a lot of attention for you six of wands energy so it does not look like you are making any decisions by the end of this month okay it just looks like you're getting this attention you're feeling a little bit stuck and confused about what to do and getting some advice about what you should do when it comes to relationship okay so let's get you guys some advice all that being said all right can i have some advice from my aquariuses you got the jackpot reading. You got the jack. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen an Aquarius reading like this before. You got the jackpot. All right. Can I have an advice for my Aquariuses when it comes to their romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them now until the end of April? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, goodness. All right. Okay, so consider your foundation. All right, so who could you see a long-term commitment with? Love is all around you. Okay, that's what we're seeing. We're three offers, okay? Love is all around you. Okay, look to your inner strength, okay? So you gotta look within yourself, okay? Do some soul searching, figure out what you really want. Listen to your heart, yep. I'm saying listen to your heart. Who do you feel you could connect with all right, it says the union of hearts. Who do you really feel real strong connection to? Mm, practice compassion because obviously there's other people involved, okay? So you have to be considerate of the fact you have to make, you know, you have to consider like, okay, how can you let them down easy if you're not interested? Okay, treasure your loved ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a spiritual connection here. So also there's some signs you guys need to pay attention to. Uh, be present and dream of the future. So who do you feel has the strongest connection with you? Listen to your intuition. And who could you feel like could have a good future with you? Okay, so you guys got a lot to decide. Obviously, you're not going to decide it by the end of the month. But this is something to think about right now. Okay, so oh, all right, let's move into your career and finance. You guys you know what I hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay, so, so what we're thinking going on. There could be a strong uh, temptation coming in or some of you guys are procrastinating. Let's see this. Okay. So you're juggling two different things at once. You're moonlighting. So you're doing a job or you're doing two things at once. You're trying to uh, accomplish two things at once. Um, it's something from before. Six of Cups energy. Okay. Let me get more information here. So you got two potential offers or opportunities here you're juggling. You are really surprised by this actually. So there's a temptation to juggle two things at once because it's something from before. So you're getting some advice about what to do. There is um, good news coming in. Okay, what's going to happen my career? Just career in finance now until the end of April. 
Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see here. Okay, so there's some criticisms coming in about this surprise, but you're like, I can do the work. All right, and there's some big changes coming in for you guys. Now, after this is coming to the next period here, or what's gonna happen next is, there is gonna be some issues here with the Three of Swords energy when it comes to staying loyal or devoted to this situation. Uh, so it looks like you're gonna collaborate with somebody um, and invest time and see what happens. Cause there's a lot of money at play here, okay? And we see main person. So there is some advice being got. Now advice can be like a lawyer, an accountant, okay, a marketing person, okay, that can be the advice there to get some kind of knowledge book card energy of how to resolve this situation. So it definitely looks like by the end of the month you're collaborating with somebody. We have Three of Pentacles energy or working in a group or a creative effort here. Three of Pentacles energy. So it could be someone else being added to a team because it's like a team environment there. So it's like uh, getting control over this situation uh, and dealing with con concerns about letting control and like I feel like by the end of the month, you guys are gonna to have to surrender some kind of control because there's multiple people involved with this project. Um, and there's a lot of money at stake and there's a focus on the long term. And you're also dealing with something from before as well when it comes to a house, a real estate, a home, or a sense of stability here. But you're really optimistic by the end of the month here with the star card energy. And it's, it's a big change for you guys. Um, massive shock and surprise because of something from before. So something you were working on from before seems like it's going to come together and it's, it's been growing. Seven of Pentacles energy. Maybe something you invested in, maybe something about real estate, home, um, and it uh, looks like uh, this issue is being taken away because of some sense of stability and stables from something from before. And obviously I see some kind of procrastination um, going on at the beginning of this and a surprise about this desire, this attachment to try to juggle two things at once and getting this professional advice to put the effort into this. And something from before, you're getting good news about massive changes. So there's a collaboration, a partnership here and devote it to dealing with some of these issues around it. There's a lot of money at stake. So there's a lot of money coming in here and we see knowledge about some good uh, advice, maybe legal advice or an accountant or a marketing person. And we see just multiple people working on this project. Yeah, and someone from before, or a situation from before is bringing in a lot of money, long-term money, 10 of pentacles energy. Yeah, you're really shocked and surprised about the sense of optimism here. You guys literally had the jackpot reading here. You got abundance coming in by the end of the month with the 10 of pentacles energy. You got a lot of money here uh, and towards, towards the end of the month. This is, this is a gangbusters reading, okay. Okay, so let's let's move this out of the way, okay? And let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Aquariuses when it comes to the career and finance for the highest, best, good, for the best possible outcome for them? Now until the end of April, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look here, Aquarius. Just says, know your value and your worth. Make some decisions here. Let go of judgments because it's easy when you feel like, okay, here's the thing. I could tell you because I, I dealt with this when I was doing my uh, food manufacturing business. Sometimes when you have people help you and they don't do the work that you think that they're supposed to do, it's like easy to get irritated about it, but just pull yourself back and say, okay. You just say, you just direct the person, okay, this is what I need you to get done, okay? And go through the steps and really make it clear, okay? Because it's very easy to get frustrated. It looks like you really need the help here to kind of juggle some things here. And it seems like there is a person that you're gonna be dealing with that's gonna be procrastinating about it. Okay, uh, so you're going to have to just let go of your judgments here and just walk them through the process, okay? It shows me if you're determined you're gonna get there, you already have the hindsight and the know-how, you know where you're going, all right? Honor your soul's path on this. All right, so let me also get some advice for you guys. What do you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help you, Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know 
spiritually that they didn't know, that they need to know, that could help them now until the end of April. Show me the cards in need to see. Show me the cards in need to see. Okay, let's see, Aquarius. Be patient. <laughs> Try not to lose your patience. <laughs> Go within. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to come to light for you. Stay grounded. There's no need to worry. Stay strong. You have a lot of inner strength. Surrender to the situation. You're going to find your direction to stay balanced. <laughs> I told you, you guys possibly could get frustrated here. Um, but you're about to be really happy, guys. So when it comes to your state of confusion, you're going to be able to preserve something here. But expect the unexpected, because the end of the month, it seems like it's going to really surprise you about love. You know you're not alone. Prayers do help with the situation. Okay. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, claim your winning ticket in the comments below. All right. So um, put I'm a winner or winner or winning in the comments below. Let's see who made it to the, um, the end of this reading and who claims this message. You guys have a great, great rest of the month. Okay. Why can't I be an Aquarius? <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.